America's first former president turned criminal defendant was making history in a Manhattan court today. And in between ranting about how wrong it was, he apparently just dozed off. Dozens of potential jurors were disqualified for displaying under questioning exactly what the crowd outside was showing. Bias, US correspondent Mitch McCann reports. Every political theatre has its opening night, and the MAGA minions and the rally regulars had gathered for another show. And that's the philosophy of our founding fathers. You know, give me liberty or give me death. Give me Trump or give me death. Just down the road, the former president prepared to make history. How are you feeling, Mr. Trump? Angry would be a fair bit. As he arrived, Donald Trump couldn't help himself. He could see the cameras waiting. It's a case that should have never been brought. It's an assault on America. Once inside, America's 45th president stared down waiting photographers watching his every move. In this, the first of four separate criminal cases, Donald Trump is accused of falsifying business records. He did that, prosecutors say, to cover up payments made to a porn star to keep her quiet about their affair. The porn star, Stormy Daniels, could be a witness in this case. Stormy horseface Daniels, no attraction. <laughs> no affair, I call it no affair. Lawyers argued over what evidence was admissible and whether Trump should be fined for certain social media posts breaching the court's gagging orders. As for Donald Trump, the New York Times reported Trump appears to be sleeping. His head keeps dropping down and his mouth goes slack. As the afternoon wore on, the arduous task of choosing an impartial jury began. Of 96 possible jurors brought into the court, at least 50 raised their hands indicating they couldn't be fair. They were excused to leave and walk past the chaos outside. It's certainly not a large crowd, but it really is a faithful one. Many of the people here wearing the T-shirts, the hats and flying the flags are people we've already met around the country at other Trump appearances. It seems like there's nothing he can do that would lose their support. First witness. To be honest, there's nothing that Trump can do that would make him lose our support. Donald Trump is a modern-day American equivalent of Nelson Mandela. It'll now be up to a jury to determine if Trump, too, has been unfairly persecuted once they can find an impartial one. In New York, Mitch McCann, News Hub.